What's interesting about this question is that it not only allows to test your math skills, but also checks your pattern recognition abilities. You're presented with three triangles, and you need to determine the missing number. Each triangle has four digits inside, three digits by the corners, and one digit in the middle. The first triangle has numbers 2, 18, and 3, and digit in the middle is 1. Second triangle has digits 3, 21, and 1, and then 4 in the middle. And then the third triangle has digits 1, 2, digit 3 in the middle, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate out of four possible choices. Choice A, 8. Choice B, 16. Choice C, 21. And last but not least, choice D, 24. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Are you ready? Give yourself enough time, maybe pause this video, if you need to determine the solution. On my end, I got my answer. And I am excited to share with you my problem-solving strategies. So let's go ahead and learn the solution together. And if you got your genius move in your sleeve, make sure to share in comments. As you might have guessed, the first step here is to determine the pattern. So in this particular pattern, the bottom right number is calculated as the sum of top and middle numbers multiplied by left and by the top number. Let's look at sample calculations to make the example more clear. Let's look at the first yellow triangle. To get to the number in the bottom right corner, we first need to add 2 and 1, and the end result of this would be 3. Then we need to multiply the result at the number in the bottom left corner. And 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9. Then, as the last step, we need to multiply the result, which is 9, by 2, which is top number, and the end result would be 18. Calculations for the second triangle would be very similar. 3 plus 4 equals 7. 7 multiplied by 1 equals 7. And 7 multiplied by 3 equals 21, which is precisely the number in the bottom right corner. Can you do calculations for the third triangle? Let me help you. 1 plus 3 equals 4. 4 multiplied by 2 equals 8. And then 8 multiplied by 1 equals 8 again. So the correct answer here is choice A, 8. Let me give you some tips so you can solve these types of questions on the real test on your own. If you look closely at triangles, they are of three different colors. But colors do not play roles in the pattern detection in this particular case. And they're only there to confuse you. Another tip would be, especially if you see small single-digit numbers, is that do not use the calculations only for add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Always consider the possibility of square and square root calculations. Just to recap, the correct answer here is choice A, 8. And as usual, if you have a better way to solve this challenge or have additional tips, please make sure to post them in comments. Here's a captivating word-constructing assessment test question that not only challenges your thinking, but also equips you with the memory recall skills applicable in everyday situations. You need to construct a seven-letter word. What's interesting about this word that it can also be described as data collection. The word has seven letters. Three of those letters are visible. Those letters are A, A, and E. I am pretty sure that you ran across this word many, many times. Are you ready? I think I've cracked the puzzle and I can't wait to share my solution with you. And if you got a different answer, please make sure to share it in comments. I think the word is data set. A data set is a structured collection of information or data points that is used for analysis and interpretation. Data set typically consists of relevant data organized into rows and columns, with each row representing an individual data entry and each column representing a specific attribute or variable. Data sets serve as a foundation for data analytics, enabling professionals to extract meaningful insights, patterns, and trends that can inform decision-making and problem-solving processes. Prepare to tackle this intriguing assessment test question designed not just to test your analytical abilities, but to foster your critical thinking and math skills, which you can utilize in your daily life. You are presented with three expressions. First expression is 2 5 petal flowers equals 10. The second expression is 3 5 petal flowers plus 2 6 petal flowers equals 33. And then the last expression is 4 6 petal flowers 
plus 3 9 petal flowers equals 72. You need to calculate the value of the 9 petal flower. And once calculated, select the answer out of 4 possible choices. Choice A, 10. Choice B, 11. Choice C, 12. And last but not least, choice D, 13. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Are you ready? Well, I'm rushing you because I found my answer, and I'm thrilled to guide you through the problem-solving process. Let's continue so we can examine our strategies step by step. And if you came up with your own brilliant approach, don't hesitate to let us know in comments. As you might have figured out, we have three types of flowers here. Five petal flower, six petal flower, and nine petal flowers. Let's first calculate the value of five petal flower. Based on the original expression, we can calculate it as 10 divided by 2, which would be equal to 5. Having this value handy, now we can calculate the value of 6 petal flower. We know that the value of 5 petal flower is 5. So let's simplify the original expression. 3 5 petal flowers plus 2 6 petal flowers equals 33. 3 5 petal flowers equals 15. So we can build a new expression, 33 equals 15 plus 2 6 petal flowers, which means that 6 petal flower equals 9. At this point, we know that the value of 5 petal flower equals 5, and value of 9 petal flower equals 9. So we can look at the third expression. Third expression states that 4 6 petal flowers plus 3 9 petal flowers equals 72 which means we can build a new expression by calculating value of 4 6 petal flowers, which would be equal 36. 72 equals 36 plus 3 9 petal flowers, which means 3 9 petal flowers equals 36. So the value of 9 petal flower is 12. So the correct answer here is choice C, 12. Do you know how to solve this problem simpler? Please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments so we can all learn. Let's dive into the world of letters with this amazingly tricky question that not only evaluates your English alphabet knowledge, but also tests your analytical skills and your strategies for tackling challenges effectively. You're presented with 3x3 three three matrix. The matrix has letters inside. The first row has letters A, B, and D. The second row has letters B, D and F, and then the third row has letters D, F, and then comes the missing letter, which you need to select out of four possible choices. Choice A, H, choice B, D, choice C, F, and last but not least, choice D, K. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. I mentioned that this question is a little tricky, so let me give you a hint. Take a close look and consider why would some boxes, some squares in the matrix would be in gray and some would be in white. Was it helpful? I hope it was. I've unlocked my answer and I'm excited to unveil some hints for you to share the answer. Let's explore the solution together. And obviously, if you've came up with a different and more creative alternative solution or tips how to solve these types of challenges effectively, make sure to post them in comments. To answer this question correctly, let's look at our matrix from a little different dimension. Each letter here corresponds to a specific place in the alphabet, which can be represented by the number. For example, letter A equals 1, letter B 2, C 3, and etc. If we follow this logic, we can replace all letters in all three rows with the numbers. So for the first row, the numbers will be 1, 2, and 4. For the second row, the numbers would be 2, 4, and 6. And for the third row, the numbers will be 4 and 6, and then would be the missing number. The next step is to determine what's happening with the numbers and how to calculate the missing number. Remember I gave you a hint? Hope you figured it out, because numbers in the white squares here are the result of addition of numbers in the gray squares. Let's look at the example. For example, 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 plus 2 equals 6. This is how the numbers in the white squares of the second row are calculated. 2 plus 4 equals 6. This is the result of the calculation in the third row, which would mean that the missing number on the intersection of 4 and 4 will be calculated as addition of 4 plus 4, which would be equal to 8. So the correct answer here is choice A, H. 
because H is the letter that corresponds to the number 8. And now, let's put your knowledge to test with the question I have for you. Take a moment to work through it independently and don't forget to share your answer in comments below. I'll be providing you my feedback. You need to determine the missing number located on top of the pyramid. As you might have guessed, the number on top is calculated based on the values of other numbers. The other numbers are 8, 28. In the third row, the numbers are 4, 4, and 7. And in the bottom row, the numbers are 3, 1, 4, and 3. Take a close look and select your final choice from four possible options. Choice A, 26. Choice B, 30. Choice C, 32. And last but not least, choice D, 36. I am confident in your problem-solving abilities and encourage you to tackle this question independently. Afterward, don't forget to share your answer in comments so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for taking part in this and best of luck! What's interesting about the question I'm about to present you is that it truly tests your analytical skills. You need to determine which number comes next in the sequence and you're presented with the sequence of six numbers where seventh number is missing. The sequence is 23, 11, 20, 12, 18, 14, and then comes the missing number, which you need to select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 17, choice B, 16, choice C, 22, and last but not least, choice D, 20. Take a close look maybe do mental math calculations to see if you can come up with the answer. Seems unsolvable, isn't it? But be sure that the answer will look so simple as soon as I reveal it, just like in the magic trick. Maybe give yourself additional 15 to 20 seconds to see if you can come up with the answer. Are you ready? Because on my end, I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. If you are a frequent visitor or a subscriber to this channel, you know the rule, and rule is to find the pattern. But in this particular question, there are two independent patterns. Let's look closely so I can share them with you. The numbers 23, 20, 18, and 17 represent first pattern. And the next number is calculated by subtracting decrementing number from the previous number. Let's look at the example. 23 minus 3 equals 20. 20 minus 2 equals 18. You see that the 3 is decremented by 1 to get to 2. The next number is calculated as 18 minus 1, which is decrement from 2, equals 17. The even numbers 11, 12, 14, and then the missing number are calculated using the different pattern. In fact, the opposite pattern, where instead of decrement, we use increment. Let's look at the examples. 11 plus 1 equals 12. Then we increase 1 by additional number, and we increment 12 by 2, which leads us to a result of 14. Then the next number, the missing number, is calculated as 14 plus 3, which would be equal to 17. So the correct answer here is choice A, 17. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments. Here's the question where you might struggle to get to the correct answer but I have full confidence that you'll be able to solve this challenge. You're presented with the sequence of numbers. The numbers are 1, 3, 11, and then comes the missing number. You need to determine the missing number and rationalize your solution by selecting one of four possible choices. Choice A, 17. Choice B, 29. Choice C, 57. And last but not least, choice D, 123. I would recommend you run this question through the most common patterns you have in your mind, so you can get to the correct answer. Are you ready to compare solutions? Awesome! Let me transition into revealing the answer to this question. I'll share with you my take, and if you came up with the different or perhaps more efficient approach, feel free to drop it in comments below. If you are a subscriber or perhaps a frequent visitor to this channel, you know that the key to solving this challenge is to determine the pattern. And the pattern here is that next number is calculated as a square value of the previous number plus 2. Let's look at the example. The first number is 1. 1 square plus 2 equals 3. Then comes the next number, which is calculated as 3 square 
plus 2, which equals 11. So the final, the missing number calculation would be 11 square, which equals 121 plus 2, which would be equal 123. So the correct answer here is choice D, 123. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.